Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Ultimate Fame Guide, where I'm going to go more into depth with the current fame system and try and give you guys some tips that will help you in the long run. Um, I did do an overview of the banking and the fame just to try and get information out to you that would, would have helped you guys through the weekend. But I've gone a little bit more in depth um, with the system at the moment. And it does look like at the moment, the fame system is um, very generous to PVP players. Since doesn't matter what kind of shortcuts everyone is using at the moment, when you kill someone, you get half their fame, okay? So when you die from a player, you lose half your fame, he gets half your fame. And if you suicide, you lose half your fame as well. And like I said in the previous video, if you want to suicide, rather let a puppet kill you or jump off something high or drown yourself, okay, rather than suiciding. So PvP is very favored at the moment, and hopefully in the future, while they're doing hot fixes, while they're doing minor changes, I hope that we will earn fame for killing puppets. Because at the moment, the best fame you can get from looting an item, like I explained in the first guide, or selling an item is five fame. Okay, so whether you get uranium from the power plant, you're going to get five fame per uranium that you pick up. Um, and whether you pick up different food items, you're just going to get five fame. So it looks like five fame is the limit when it comes to looting and selling. But unfortunately, we're not getting any fame from puppets. So I would love them to change that with a system where if you've got no bow skill, then you get five fame for every puppet that you kill. Um, and then at basic, you get like three fame. And medium, you get two, and advanced, you get one per puppet. Same with the rifle skill, same with the sniping skill, and same with the pistol skill. I think that will help a player, a players a lot, especially on single player, because on single player, you cannot kill players, okay? So I really feel they must focus a little bit more on the PV element of the game um, to help us. But in short... Everything that you're looting at the moment, there is a exploit at the moment where you can split your ammo and sell one round all the time to get five fame. But everything you loot, <clears throat> you want to pick up and put it into your inventory, especially a container. When you loot a container, you want to double click it or drag it into your inventory or drag it into your primary secondary, secondary slots to get the fame, like I explained in my banking and fame video. So you guys can always go back to that video if you're trying to understand what I'm talking about. But today I want to go more into detail. So bunkers <clears throat> are very good to loot. The major points of interest, okay? So all 25 bunkers on the server are very good to loot because you can get um, hiking backpacks from bunkers. If any of you didn't know, um, yes, you can get backpacks in towns, but bunkers are the main source of um, hiking backpacks at the moment. And there are containers or lockers in bunkers where you can either get potassium and a gas mask from the locker that has a lot of air vents in it or the, the solid air vent that has two big radiation symbols on it um, and just as air vents at the top, not right through the locker, that's where you can get um, a hazmat suit, okay? So bunkers are very, very lucrative at the moment for gaining fame and then, of course, selling the items for money because you need money to respawn, okay? So very lucrative for money. And if you want to know how to protect your money to the, you know, if you want to make sure not to lose any money from being killed, then just watch my previous video where I go more into depth about how to protect your money and the overall banking system. But so bunkers are extremely lucrative and the points of interest, like the naval base, um, like the motocross track, okay, like the um, train yard factory, um, the scrap yard, the weapons factory, the big city, the military airfield you know, the normal airfield, um, cars, the two castles are also very lucrative, okay? And then, of course, the quarries and the train yard, 
and the boot camp. Okay, so major point of in, major points of interest and bunkers are very good for first of all picking up high tier loot to gain fame and to sell high tier loot to gain fame. And then when it comes to plants, there's a lot of plants in the world that you can pick up, but not all of them gives you high fame. Okay, so what I did here is I'm just going to show you a map quickly um, and give you an overlay of where to find these plants that can give you five fame each for picking it up and selling it, okay? So as you can see, I've looted every single plant that you can loot on the island. And a lot of these give zero fame and a few of them give one fame. Okay, but then we've got the big five here, just like just like in South Africa, the big five. So, if you loot corn, it will give you five fame when you loot it, and we and then five fame when you sell it. So one corn is worth ten fame points. You can eat it if you want to. Just put it into your inventory first to get five fame, and then you can eat it. Cucumber gives you five fame when you loot it and sell it. Olives gives you five fame when you loot it and sell it. Potatoes gives you five fame when you loot it and sell it. And then cabbage gives you five fame when you loot it and sell it. None of the others, okay? And then, although I didn't search the logs, a few people are saying that if you loot the logs, you get five fame for looting the lava or the crickets or the grasshoppers from the logs. Um and then probably selling it as well, because that's what I'm finding. The The fame points that you get from looting it is going to be roughly the fame points that you're going to get from selling it, okay? Um, are they going to change in the future? They, you know, they might change in the future. But for now, there's the big five. And as you saw on the map that I showed you, there's a lot of places that you can loot. So what I would suggest is not to buy anything that you can loot, Okay, unless you want a certain gun and a cer you know, certain clothing and stuff like that. But like food, don't try and loot food uh, or, or buy food. That's going to that's gonna cost you a heck of a lot of fame. Like if you have to buy 10, you know, if you have to stock up in your base for because you're going to build your base, you're going to stock, stock up on milk and bread and, you know, cucumber and all these kinds of things. For the moment, rather fish. Fish is, fish is very good, and animals are very good. But the thing is, fish like bass, bass fish that you that you can fish for, and if you want to see how to fish for a specific fish, I've got a fishing video as well, which will help you to understand what bait you have to use, what time you have to fish, and where you have to fish to find that, first, that certain fish that you're looking for, okay? And bass fish gives you vitamin D, um, and a lot of important vitamins that you usually can't find on the island, okay? And like I say, if I go to the general store now, welcome, welcome. and I Please sell an apple, okay? So let's just see I've got 1,099 fame. If I sell the apple, let's see what you have. Okay, one fame. That's why I say some of them give you one fame, some of them give you no fame. Like strawberries is very low as well. Okay, I was surprised by strawberries, but strawberries very low as well. So no fame for strawberries, which really, really surprised me. Okay, so like I say, most of these give zero fame or one fame, but all these items give five fame. So if I go here, um, looks like I can't sell these here, but if I sell the olive, okay, Let's it's going to give me five fame. And then it looks like I have to go to the bar, to the saloon for the others. So if I go into the saloon here. New clientele. Step right up. And I sell these, okay? A fellow merchant. Sell. Eh? My doors Five are fame. always open. You want something to drink or something to eat? Sell. Five fame. Five fame. Five fame. Okay, guys. So those are the big five. Okay. Um, if you want to write it down, it's corn, cucumber, 
cabbage, potatoes, and olives. Okay? Those are the big five. And like some people said, the the things that you get in logs as well, like the, the larva and grasshoppers and um, crickets. Okay? So, like I say, there is a nice PVE element, okay? But try and spend your fame wisely. That's all I will say. Think about what you're buying. If you need a high hiking backpack, rather, you know, loot bunkers or loot towns to get the backpack or craft, you know, get to medium survival and craft um, an improvised backpack. Okay, just think a bit more. They are going to change the system, I'm sure, as time goes along. All I would add is the puppet element so that people in single player can get um, fame from puppets. And like I say, if you kill a, if you kill a puppet with a bow with no skill, it's five. If you kill a puppet with a pistol and you've got no pistol skill or handgun skill, five. Same with rifles, same with brawling, same with melee weapons, same with sniping, okay? So that PvE players can get that boost of fame. But I do feel that the fame is definitely favoring the PvP side of the game at the moment. And I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments. But as a summary, remember the big five, okay? Then loot bunkers and major points of interest. If fame is your focus point. So if this helped, if any of this helped you guys, please click the like button. And if you want to see and learn everything there is to see and learn about scum, then do yourself a favor and just click that subscribe button because I've got a heck of a lot of content upcoming. Um, and I think this is it for me now, okay? You guys can add whatever you want in the comments, but I'm only going to do the farming and then I'm going to get into more specialized videos um, that we have spoken about on stream, okay? So have a great day and see you guys next time. Cheers. Stay strong, guys. Stay strong. I'm sure in the next two weeks, we will all be much happier.